Hey guys, what's going on? Rex here bringing you a lot more uh, Dark Souls. I was about to say Skyrim. <laughs> so used to that, but um... Well, uh, we pretty much finished up with uh... Blight Town, which is awesome because I hate this place so much. Um, to level up, I was thinking we should, uh, it would be good if we actually got 10 atonements so that we could get one atonement slot and, uh, we could get, like, a, like, a magic, uh, a magic spell going on there for us. Uh, but, um, I also do want to have Vitality at 40, at least, and then I'll move to Endurance to get that at 40. And, uh, I don't know, I guess then... I guess we'll see later when, once we get there. <laughs> but for now, vitality and then endurance, I think it should be pretty pretty good to have a lot of HP to be able to take everything that the world uh, can throw at us. And uh, endurance just to be able to block shit <laughs> and attack a lot. But, uh, yep, we're gonna be living Blight Town for sure now. And uh, there are a couple enemies here that uh, we have to be careful about. We can still get surrounded. You can see that they're gonna be dropping down from the sky like the plague. <laughs> like the plague they are, but I think it's kind of cool. It's just <laughs> so cute. It's like it's like a person just going up and down the stairs. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Anyway. Oh no. Okay. So um. Let's see. What uh, what do we have to do now? Oh fuck. Leave me alone. Man. So annoying. No. And then. Plow and just kick him out. Kick him down. No, he didn't fall down. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Okay, we are going to be going now to the asylum. Uh, which is pretty much the place where we started the game. If you guys remember the... Uh, uh, well, the jail place where I was in the very beginning of the game. That's where we're going, actually. Um, for those of you who do not know that we can go back. Yes, we can. It's kind of a... I mean, I don't know if you can categorize it as a secret, because it is kind of a secret. Uh, you don't actually have to go there uh, to... Um, let me just lower the volume a bit here, okay. Uh, you don't actually have to go there to finish the game. Uh, nor do you need anything from there to finish the game, so... I guess you can consider it a secret place, because it's, uh, it's, it's pretty well hidden, I think, and you don't have to finish it. So, I don't know. But, uh, yep, we're gonna be going there, because there are a couple of things that I actually do want to get that I... I think they're gonna be pretty pretty helpful with our with our quest. You can see how oh I was gonna say how proficient one can become at dodging and how effective it can be and then I get hit. <laughs> uh, this is can become a little a little hard here because it's always much harder to be dealing with two um, two guys and dealing with one in this game. The difference is overwhelming. There you go. Now that we killed one it should be easier. Um, you will notice that uh, some creatures have a threshold on how much damage they can take before they flinch. Uh, that depends on... It's sort of like the shield and their stability with the shield. And the stamina that they have, you know, sort of like... It, it works in the same way that I can get, like, uh, thrown out of my stability when they hit me really hard. Or, you know, a lot of times really hard. It sort of works the same way. It even works bosses. Like, if you, if you two-hand the weapon and hit a boss multiple times... You are, oh, you actually do have a shot of uh, knocking them off balance as well, which is pretty cool. Again, poise helps with that. The more poise you have, the uh, harder it is to knock you off balance. Yeah. All right. Um, I just want to check something. How many? I don't have any other. Uh, no, I don't have any. Uh, I was uh, the the bonfire keeper souls. Let's see. Where can I? I, I do want to get a couple more. Before uh, we uh, before we get to Sand Fortress, at least let's see. The one is in here in Blight Town, but I have to take the shortcut for that. The other one is below in Blight Town with uh, the chaos, uh, the the weird spider chick that uh, I said that I didn't want to kill yet. She has she has one as well. Um, there's one in New London Ruins that we haven't gotten. That I can I, I actually I'm going uh, I'm about to get that one. Um, what else, what else, what else, what other one can we get? There's one in an Orlando that I will not get for a while. Um, I don't even know anymore. I guess we'll find out later. Anyways, I I will meet you guys back in the Fire Link Shrine. I don't want to waste your guys' time of me just walking down there. You know what, I decided to uh, not completely cut it off because uh, I haven't been to this part 
yet in the playthrough, and there are some important things that I guess you guys have to know. Uh, for once, that's a trap. If you pay close attention up there, you'll see a slime. If you grab that, uh, which is just like one of those souls that you can break to get souls, uh, that thing goes down and hits you. So you might as well not even bother with that. It's not really worth the problem. But um, here we are back pretty much to almost uh, the slums. But there's something really cool here that... Uh, hey, hello there, lady. It's supposed to be a lady. but <laughs> um, Let me just kill this chick here, this very ugly chick. Oh, shit. Aggressive you. <laughs> she definitely sounds like a man, though. Um, yep. She was going to give you the sack, which... Uh, I guess it does have a use, and we're going to use it later. You're going to see for what. But um, this guy, we can free him. Please, you must help me. I will help you. Uh, I suggest just rolling and breaking it up by rolling instead of using your weapon because you can hit him by accident. And if you damage him enough, then uh, you can actually turn him against you. And obviously, you don't want to do that. Thank you. No problems. I would have been in the line. I started to think. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Um, I am Lorenzo. For the great spot. You can see that he said, um, I don't want to be her uh, dinner. What is that? Her something, her supper. Uh, he was mentioning the uh, the butcher as a she. And uh, that's another, I guess, clue to that, but whatever. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, he's going to give us, uh, or he's going to sell us some pyromancy spells uh, back in the Firelink Shrine once we get there. Oh, fudge. Let me just, oh, this is going to be annoying. I hate water. Uh, or I guess this type of water where it just goes to your knees, doesn't let you walk straight. Ah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'll meet you guys in Firelink Shrine. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, guys, welcome back. We're in Firelink Shrine now. You can see the... <laughs> this the What do you call that? A... Did you call that a sparrow? I don't even... Uh, my, my, my English words are... Are missing. But anyways, um... We got our seals here, a, a guy we're going to defeat really quickly, but I wanted to show you that. Um, if you guys remember, right before we entered Blighttown, I told you guys that uh, that vent the, the vendor that was going to be selling us a couple of you know boss gear after we defeated said bosses, um, he moves here after you defeat uh, Quelag at Blighttown, the boss. So you can see him there uh, to get there. Actually, I don't want to try getting there until I um, get the uh, the bonfire here because <laughs> just in case I'm stupid enough to fall, I don't want to uh, have to walk all of that again. That would be excruciatingly annoying. Uh, you guys know what I mean. But um, I do want to uh, see what he has to sell. I He does sell a couple of weird things, um, mostly crystal armor. Uh, for those of you who do not know what crystal armor is, uh, that's actually an enchantment, that, or I guess an upgrade that you can do to your armor, just like increasing it plus one, or increasing your weapons plus one, or giving them electric properties or whatever. You can also give them crystal properties. Now, crystal properties, let me see if I can jump this. Whoa, nice. Um, crystal properties increases the damage of your weapons uh, substantially. But they actually uh, make their, what do you call them, uh, their durability much lower. So, for example, and, and I mean much lower, if a sword has 200, the sword would get like 30 durability max after improving it to crystal. Like, it reduces it by a lot, but the damage is actually increased by a lot as well. So, it's, you know, glass cannony. Uh, to your, I, I think it does the same to your armor, like it increases their defensive capabilities by a lot, but makes them more brittle, or whatever you call that. Hi, Shamai, and good day to you. I'm Donald of Xena. I'm just, well, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. There you go. <laughs> He's gonna sell us gold pine resin, a button lifts box, and the master key, by the way. If you don't, if you didn't start with that, you can buy it here, uh, from this guy. Uh, you can see he sells some crystal weapons and a crystal shield, some arrows, and the armors, I think is what's important. Um, Helms of the Wise, a strange helm from the ancient land of Sina, birthplace of the dealer Dumhal. The two horns are believed to symbolize wisdom. Oh, you can see some of the, uh, some, uh, that's, I guess, the, the gear set that he's carrying right now, but uh, I guess it's not really well, useful to us at this no point. Matter. 
there are some things that I do want to get before I obviously uh, go into Sense Fortress because as soon as we go into Sense Fortress, which is the the fortress that we opened by ringing the two bells, uh, we're gonna uh, go to Anorlando and it's gonna be a pain in the ass for us to leave. So I I wanna I wanna be I wanna get everything that I can get from here before I go to Anorlando, obviously. Uh, so there is a Firekeeper Soul that I wanna get. And I believe it's fairly important for you guys to know where it is because you can actually get it really early in the in the game. Actually, you can get it as soon as you start the game. I mean, obviously after you leave the asylum, uh, you can get it. And uh, I actually did this on my live stream. Uh, yeah, uh, well, as as of the recording of this, I did it yesterday. But uh, whoa, <laughs> um, and uh, I failed. Well, I didn't fail to get it. I. I died so many times trying to get it, and it's so easy to do, but for whatever reason, I just I just kept on dying, and I, it was hilarious. But uh, you, uh, I suggest equipping your uh, homeward bone to your equipment slots so that you can easily access it. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Let me let me just put it here. No, it's a little harder with my control because it's not the the official Microsoft controller. It's uh. It's it's a knockoff that I used to connect it to the to the PC, and uh, the the D pad is it's not of the best quality. I press down and it keeps pressing right as well. It's weird, but <laughs> yeah, this is the New London ruins, and obviously you're not supposed to really be here until much later in the game, almost end game by the way. But um, you get a Firekeeper Soul here. You just turn here. You just gotta be careful to stop sprinting here because the camera freaks out a little bit here. You don't want to fall down to the water and die. But there you go, Firekeeper Soul. Uh, oh! Yep, I guess. I wasn't fast enough. Ah. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. That, uh, you can imagine what happened in the stream. Uh, that happened, but then I, I was resurrected way, way farther away uh, than here. Because I didn't activate this shrine and I had to walk all the way back to get my souls because I had a lot of souls and I just kept on failing like that. But whatever. Um, I don't really want to go back. Uh, I would just get like 1,000 souls and then one humanity, you know, back, and I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> so, uh, but we got what we uh, went there to get, which was the uh, Firekeeper Soul, which we can use here to reinforce our flasks. There you go. Now we have, um, there you go, Estus Flasks plus two, which is awesome. Um, I do want to get the other one. So that we can get a plus three, and uh, that should be good enough for me to go to uh, Enter Londo and uh, not have any issues. Well, I don't think I would have any issues otherwise, regardless, but um, because I do have a lot of HP. But at the same time, because I do have a lot of HP, I um, I do want to make sure that I have an efficient way of healing myself up uh, in case trouble comes. Gotta be always ready for trouble, so. Yep, this episode is gonna be pretty much me just uh, getting ready for An Orlando because if you're not ready for An Orlando, An Orlando is going to well do some nasty things to you. So, <laughs> uh, so we gotta get into the shortcut of uh, of Blight Town because uh, it's the only way for us to get to to the to the soul. So yeah, I guess I will be able to show you guys the shortcut after all. So that's cool. You guys should be happy. Very, very happy. I I am going to be sad, however, because I hate this place. I, I really, truly do hate this place. And uh, I don't even remember very well where it is. The I, I never usually get the soul. Because I usually kill uh, Quillac's sister. the That Chaos Witch. So I, I'm, I always... Uh, I'm never in need of this third soul, you know? Whoa. Oh, shit. I thought I, I, thought I evaded that. I guess not. Oh. Die. Whoa! Nice. Okay, gotta be gotta be real careful here. Backstab. There you go. <laughs> I think it's so hilarious that most of the time it's not really a backstab as much as it's like an ass stab. Because for well, most of the creatures in this game are taller than me, so I end up stabbing them on the ass every time I do a backstab. So that's that's kind of funny. <laughs> There you go. Got to heal my my poison here. It's got some dunk pies, which I am never really going to be using in this playthrough. I never use them. I don't think they're really that helpful at all, really even. 
Um, actually, uh, I uh, found out something I think fairly interesting about the dunk pies. Um, I told you guys that uh, the toxic, the guys that throw you the toxic darts, their toxic actually does a, a fair amount of damage. But if you actually poison yourself uh, or toxic yourself with the dunk pie, you actually deal to yourself less damage than what the dart guys would do to you. So. It, it, it kind of makes sense to poison yourself with that, so that the dart guys cannot poison you. <laughs> um, it's a nice trick, I guess, that I learned. That, you know, I'm I'm not really going to apply at any point in this playthrough, but, you know, whatever. If you guys want to. Uh, with this chest, you get the key to New London Ruins, which is the key that I used uh, to get from the ruins to the Valley of Driggs. But uh, it doesn't matter to me, because I actually have the... Uh, I actually have the, uh, what's its face, the, um, the master key, so I don't need that silly thing, but, uh, let's see, I hope I don't get lost here, because I'm not, uh, I'm not used to taking this shortcut. I know that to get to Quellag, you really only have to throw yourself down over and over again, uh, from panel to panel until you reach Quellag, but, um, hmm... I don't remember what road I should take, so I guess we'll find out together. Together. Oh shit. I hate this place. Uh, let's see, where can I- Oh no! Oh, he didn't poison me. Thank god. Let's drop myself here. Uh, okay, oh, I'll kill you. Oh, I'll kill you. No, don't poison me. I'll kill you first. There you go. Oh, wait, this is where I had to go, I remember now. Okay, I'm toxic. <laughs> It's almost impossible to not get toxic here, but whatever, there are so many of them, but I think I, I saw it now. It's one of those, uh, I have to go down one of these slopes, and, uh, ooh, let's see. I believe it's that one, I believe it's there, uh, where those dogs are, but, um, let me just, uh, drink this. One more, there you go. And I guess I'll just drop myself and kill those dogs like this. Pow! There you go. And uh, is it this one? Firekeeper's soul. There you go, guys. We got it. Uh, now that we got it, all we gotta do is uh, leave. There you go. No more. No more uh, Blight Town for us. But let me equip my weapon, get my Estus Flask ready, and I'll upgrade the Estus Flasks. And uh, we should be on our merry way. Awesome. There you go. Reinforce it, please. Thank you very much. We got plus three now. I should be, uh, this should be fine for, uh, for us to, to deal with Enorlando fairly efficiently. Now, uh, we're gonna be going to the, uh, asylum. Oh, hey, by the way, this is, uh, I do, I'm not really gonna talk to him yet. I, uh, not really have the, uh, the souls to buy anything from anyone at this point. Uh, I'll try not to spend any souls that I get on the asylum so that I can buy some awesome pyromancy or whatever. Uh, maybe some sorceries, I don't know. I guess we'll see if we can find something useful. But what you have to do is wait until this reaches the open point and jump, or just move forward. Um, this is a little trick, and this is why I think that it's sort of like a secret, really. It's, uh, it's a little weird to discover, you know. Whoa! Nope, I fell out. <laughs> but you see where I'm going with it. I have to, uh, I have to reach that spot. I'll meet you guys when I do it. There you go. <laughs> it can be a little... A little tough, so, you know, just keep trying until you get it, but, uh, there we can see the crow, the, the crow, I guess I got the word now, the crow, <laughs> whatever, I, uh, I tend to forget things, man, I forget things, oh, beautiful, <laughs> but, um, yep, um, what do you have to do, I don't think there's an item here, no, I, oh, right, right, there's something we can get, actually, so that means that I'm gonna have to try the jump again, uh, if you throw yourself here, bow, uh, and you get this item, it's uh, an Undead Asylum F2 West key. Uh, we act we actually gonna need that key. It's not necessary, like, you don't have to get it. But, uh, if you do get it, then you'll get an item. In the Asylum, which is pretty cool. But I'll meet you guys once I reach the top part again. Ah, okay, there you go. <laughs> so annoying to miss that when you do. But, uh, what else, what else does it matter? We are gonna go up again our merry way. And that uh, this is what you have to do, and this is... Mainly why I think it's so it's so bizarre and so like cryptic. You get here and then you curl into a ball. <laughs> so it's so silly, really. If you didn't know this, this is it's kind of funny to figure it out. But um, you actually have to stand here for a while, so it, it's not like automatically. 
Like, usually a person, I would think, would just come here, do the curl, laugh at it, and then wait for, like, 10 seconds, see that nothing happens, and then leave. So, you actually have to stay a little longer. And wait a while, and this is what happens. Enjoy. And we're back, guys. Back to the Undead Asylum. <laughs> you guys missed this place? I certainly did. And uh, there are a couple of things that we actually have to do here. Uh, new things that weren't before. So, that's cool. <laughs> You'll notice that, obviously, the... Uh, whoa! Careful there, boy. You'll notice that the enemies are obviously stronger. They are... They scaled to... Uh, to how we are now. So, that's, that's a thing. Uh, before we get into the actual asylum, though, there's a little secret here. Check this out. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. Now, this is actually a pretty, pretty awesome secret. Um, he's asking you for something warm and soft, and it's obviously hard to tell what you're supposed to do because there's no trigger for anything, no commands for anything. What you actually have to do is you open your pause menu, you open your items here. You go to... Uh, well, you have to give him items, and depending on what item you give him, he's gonna give you something back. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna give him a purple uh, moss clump. We're gonna give him one. And what you have to do is just drop it there. You'll see that it's right there on, on, the, uh, on the nest. You leave it there, you pause, and you quit the game. Yes? That's right, you have to actually quit the game. It's This is why I think it's a big secret. It's, it's so hard to, like, figure this out by yourself. Like, it doesn't make any sense, like... Like, common sense-wise, like, who would do that? You know, who would actually drop an item and just leave? Like, it's like, it, you would have to be, like, a freaking... Monster to figure that shit out. <laughs> or a Korean, I, I guess. I don't want to sound, you know. <laughs> uh, it's a compliment. <laughs> but, um, okay. And uh, once you go back, if you give me warm, give me soft, you'll see that the item's still there. But but once you pick it up, it's actually something different. There you go. Um, this guys actually exchange items. So they you give them something and they give you something else. Um, you can give them. I don't know the things uh, for sure, like every everything that you can exchange with them, but I know that uh, you can exchange one of these for a Twinkling Titanite, one of these for another Twinkling Titanite. Uh, the other one that cures Toxic, which I, I don't have any of those, but that, give you tw that gives you twice, uh, two Titanites, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you can only do that once, by the way, per item. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is I want to give him... Uh, something. I just want you guys to see this. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. But uh, we're gonna give him a a sack. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about when I said that you were gonna find out what to do with that sack later on. Uh, we're gonna give it to them and the leaf. It's. Uh, I think it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But um, Bandai Namco Games. Did I love this company? So cool. I remember I used to play uh, this Samurai X game from them. Uh, from the PS2. What an amazing game. But uh, whatever. <laughs> Who wants to know about me? Nobody. Um, yep. Let's go ahead and start this up again. There you go. Katarina Helm. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. <laughs> you, give me... <laughs> So, so funny. But, uh, yep, when, once we pick it up, we get the Demon's Great Hammer. Do you recognize this hammer, guys? Do you guys recognize this hammer? This is actually the hammer from the very first boss from the Asylum. So, yeah, awesome, isn't it? <laughs> um, yep, so uh, you can actually give him different items, and this is going to give you different stuff. Um, I uh, There's a list for that. You can Google it. I, uh, I don't actually know it. <laughs> But, uh, yep, we are here back at the Asylum, and uh, the minions, the, the undead here, obviously, are stronger, and they're going to give you more more experience and stuff. But I want to leave this for the next episode, I think. Uh, we did quite a bit here. But, um, yep, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, even though 
it was a little bit of uh, walking around, doing little little errands here and there to get uh, to get our power back and uh, be be good enough for the trials that uh, are gonna be in front of us for the time to come. Whatever. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you all stay gamers. Love you guys. Yeah.